My name is Tom and in today's video I'm going to be working with the Automation Direct PLC and the PLC I'm going to be using is going to be a 205 base with a 260 processor installed. You may also use a 250 processor or a DL05 or DL06 PLC. This particular uh, PLC is part of the micromodular PLC family from the Automation Direct. And in today's project, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making changes to the settings on COM port 2 to communicate over a Modbus network. And the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to show you how to do it through the DirectSoft 5 software. And also I'm going to show you how to do it through Ladder Logic. Now there's a couple of reasons why I like to do it through the Ladder Logic. For one, if you were ever to replace the processor or even during initial startup, when you download your project, you have to also go to the COM port settings, make changes to the COM port settings, and then download them to your processor. Me, I'm the type of a guy who's a one-stop shopping kind of a guy. So I like to do everything in one movement. And with ladder logic, I can make this happen automatically every time that there is a power cycle of the PLC or when you go from program to run mode. So I'm going to open up my program here and I'm going to show you a few things. I have the uh, software already running in the uh, background. So I'm going to pull it up here and I'm going to show you a little bit about it. And here is the one rung that we use. This is normally a K501. You can see my end statement here and above it is just a little brief description. And down below my end statement I just have variations of the same rung that's here. I'm just burying the uh, baud rates and the uh, parity on there. But I'm still leaving them as my uh, as, uh, my bus RTU. Now, the values that we're going to be changing here is just in Word 2 today. And I'll show you how I come up with the uh, value here in this load. Because what I'll be doing is I'll be loading a value from here, which will be a constant, into Word number 2 here, which is V7656. So let me pull that up here. V7656. As you can see here, it's a 601. So if I come up here to my COM port, I'm going to come up here to the PLC, come down to Setup, come over here to Setup Secondary COM port, and click on that. You can see that my COM port right now is set up for a baud rate of 19.2. The protocol is Modbus, and the parity is none. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back to the factory default settings. Or these actually get changed back to when you uh, initialize Scratchpad. These, these settings don't get changed if you clear the PLC memory. But these settings will be changed back to the factory default if you initialize the Scratchpad. I highly recommend if you clear the programs off your processors to initialize Scratchpad to put everything back to the way it was because if there's any v, v memory locations that were written to it will automatically put them back to zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few things in this screen right here. First of all if you remember my settings in here before they should still be in the processor right now because I haven't downloaded them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button here and what that's going to do is it's going to upload the values that are in the processor right now and place them in the screen. So I'm going to click on this. As you can see, all the settings went back to where I originally had them. So I'm going to come back here and change them back again. 
because I want to uh, start with the default settings and I'm going to load that to the processor. I'm going to click the load button here. Now I'm going to click the upload and as you can see everything has been changed. Now I'm going to click close. Now, right now I have a value of 8501 in my vMemory location for word number 2. And where that came in at is all this up here is clicked on. It has check marks in it. And that's where the 8 comes from. Otherwise, the baud rate and the parity also are changed. Well, the parity has changed from none to odd. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click close. And I'm going to show you right now I have a I'm going to write a value to word number two of K501 and what I need to do is since this bit's only active on the first scan I need to either power cycle my PLC or I need to transition from run mode to program then back to run mode again. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to program. Then I'm going to come back here to run mode. You can see my value here hasn't changed yet. Now I'm going to click OK. And you can see here my value has changed. And I don't know if you've seen this up here, this A right here, change from an A to a 5. That's word number 3 right here. And I'll go over that briefly in a few minutes. But I also want to show you how to change the uh, baud rate. I want to show you that it is actually changed. So I'll come back down here to the second COM port. My K sequence and device net have been unchecked. I'm at a baud rate of 9600 and my parity is none. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to change that value to read a uh, baud rate of 19.2 that's the only thing that's going to change here. Now I'm going to, to load a value of K601 out to the V memory location for word number two. And I'm going to accept my changes and I'm going to write my program. And as you can see, it was pretty quick. When you look over here, my value hasn't changed because I haven't power cycled and I haven't transitioned from program mode to run mode. So I'm going to do that right now, but first I'm going to show you in the uh, COM port setup that the changes have not taken effect yet. I'm still at a baud rate of 9600. I'm going to close that out. Nothing has changed. Now I'm going to transition to program and then back to run again. Now watch this A up in here. You might see it briefly change to a 5 and that's actually the uh, K500 right here. But when the value is accepted, it is written back to an A. So I'm going to click OK. Now you didn't see the uh, change of the A that time. But you can see my word number 2 has changed to a 601. And then I'm going to come up here to my COM port settings. And you can see my COM port settings are now at a baud rate of 19.2. Modbus and, well, sorry, I checked on that accidentally. Well, let me let me read that back for you. Upload it. As you can see, I'm still in Modbus and my parity is none. I'm going to close this out and I'm going to come back to my document here. And I'm going to show you exactly where I'm getting these numbers from that I'm loading into COM port number two. So I'm going to attempt to scroll down here. And for some reason it's not allowing me to real, real quick here. But what I'm going to show you in word number two down here, you can also use in word number one. You can set different uh, rates for the RTS on and off delay. You can set a different uh, timeout for the communication. And I'm going to scroll down here a little bit word number two and word number three. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come jump down here to word number three first. And I'll show you this part right here. And it says when the CPU checks the value, in other words, the value that you just downloaded to your COM port, it will change to a 5, which we seen briefly in the one download. And then it will change right back to an A if the port settings have been accepted. But if they have not been accepted, you're going to have an E there, which is an error. So I'm going to come up here to word number two, and I'm going to show you how I come up with them numbers. First of all, I'm going to open up my, open, open up my calculator. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in binary, because this is going to be a binary number here. And I'm going to work my way from left to right. And to start off with, I want to use a parity of none because I want to show you exactly how I come up with the 501 and 601. I'm going to use a parity of none. So I can click on the zeros here, but you won't see the uh, zeros move. So I'm going to place two zeros here. And the stop bits I'm going to leave at zero. So I'm going to place a zero there. Now the echo suppression I'm going to leave at 232 or 422. So I'm gonna, that's going to be another zero. But the baud rate here, I'm going to show you how I come up with the 501. So that's going to be 101. And the protocol mode is going to be hex. I'm going to place another zero in. And then over here under secondary address, I'm going to have to place in seven digits here. And the first six are going to be all zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to place a one here for station number one. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to convert this to a hex value. And there's my 501. Now I'm going to clear this out. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use non-parity. So I'm going to place two zeros. Or I could just stop and stop placing the zeros until I actually make a change. So the stop bits is going to be a zero. Echo suppression is going to be a zero. But my baud rate, I'm going to change to read 19.2. So that's going to be a 1.1.0. One, one, and then I need to place six zeros again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And a 1. Oh, sorry. That was a binary number that I need to put in there. I convert it to a hex. And I need to convert to a hex, so I need to redo that. So I'm going to start with baud rate here, because that's where the change actually starts coming into effect. So that's going to be a 1, 1, 0. Then another 0 for the protocol mode. And then under the secondary address, I need to place in 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then a number 1. And then convert it to a hex. And there's my 601. You can play around with the rest of these numbers here and change to a different parity or different baud rates. You can even change the uh, station address here. And I will discuss that a little bit more in another video that I've done to where I actually make changes to the uh, communications port on the processor to match the default of another device on that has been replaced on the network and I download all the parameters and then change back to my old settings. But I believe I went over how to uh, change the COM port settings with the software and also through the ladder logic. And I also discussed the uh, word number three. And that's pretty much it for my project. And if you like my uh, project here, uh, let me know.